Hey everybody, this is Jeff with TGC Customs. Uh, back here in the shop today, working on some of the, the new stuff we got for classifieds. Thought I'd give you guys a peek at some of the new stuff and uh, some of the older stuff that we got on the Etsy store. Uh, you find us on Etsy, TGC Customs. Anyway, uh, here we got the uh, RDT-7, uh, which is carried by the original Cobra Viper. And these got these weapons that I'm showing today, guys. I threw a quick paint job on them with uh, Vallejo paints. Uh, you can definitely get a better look if you sand, use a good primer, uh, and then throw a good good acrylic paint on there. They will look a little better. I just kind of threw some together, uh, painted, and maybe a couple unpainted. I'll show you today. Anyway, RDT seven for the Viper. And I think I showed Spirit in an earlier video, but uh, got Spirit's bolt rifle and his uh, backpack uh, comes as a, a kit on the store. Uh, get both of those together. Uh, this is one of the new ones, uh, Cobra Commander, as my brother and I called it when we were kids, his hair, hair dryer gun. And I think a lot of people refer to it as that. Uh, but uh, I believe the new cobra commander that's coming with the his tank is going to have something similar but i want to go ahead and get some printed up in case anybody wanted to you know outfit their their existing cobra commander uh, another one we've had for a while uh, the uh sunbow uh laser pistol uh from the cartoon uh, i just kind of threw a little quick tan paint job on that one and breaker backpack uh, a little bit more 80s style communications backpack. It will also come with an antenna. I'm switching from the resin antenna I'd been uh, putting on here to a actual metal antenna and just hadn't done this one yet. But we'll come with a little little metal antenna on top of that. Uh, there's breaker. Let's see, this is another one of the new ones. The uh, this 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 one's kind of uh, kind of neat. It's kind of uh, Based on Baroness's rifle and the Cobra officer's rifle from the uh, from the original line, both of them had similar. The front part of the weapon was similar. The stocks were different. So in this one, it just went with a plain stock and kind of use it. it kind of does double duty. Works good with Baroness and with the with the officer. Uh, like I say, we'll kind of kind of go uh, kind of use them for both. Very similar to his original weapon. Uh, this here is another new one for Storm Shadow. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see here. Can't quite get him in the right pose. And he comes with some awesome uh, accessories as is from Hasbro. Uh, I just wanted to do a bow and arrow for mine personally that was a little more 80s. Uh, yeah, I know they had compound bows in the 80s. I, I'm a bow hunter myself, but uh, wanted something a little more retro. Uh, so got that for uh for storm shadow and i'll show you some other stuff we have uh this is an existing uh buzzers backpack uh, which is removable you can see i went with a crazy roughed up paint job on this one as i i feel it probably would have had uh, very similar to his uh original uh accessory there's his chainsaw also went with the crazy rusty roughed up paint job uh this one too's kind of got a purpose roughed up paint job this is not particularly any joe it's just a m4 military or ar ar i guess you could platform uh rifle with a with several attachments on it i wanted it to look like it was beat up a little bit here this works with anybody uh, as much as I love snake eyes Uzi I have my personal snake eyes I have him one of these in his hand uh, another uh, item we've had for a while it's really popular fireflies backpack I've got this one attached with a small piece of electrical tape just to kind of to show it off uh, with it open but the little uh, outside cover will pop on to the backpack uh, let's see what else uh, another existing item beachheads wasp uh, just a real simple paint job on this one also just a real simple weapon uh, from his uh, 80s 
new one for the new dusty the famous uh, assault rifle uh, once again just a simple paint job on these guys but uh, these are new to the store go in there and check those out also I have the Barrett 50 cal if you want a somewhat upgrade roadblock we also have the, the old Ma Deuce if you want to give roadblock that one uh, this one uh, more uh, modern military kind of kind of feel or ex civilian in some states you can buy this thing it's 50 cal uh, also non-painted i have the classic helmet the gi joe helmet uh, this thing guys if you get it from us just beware i am printing them really thin so they'll fit on just about anybody i've been using just a small piece of blue tack uh up in the top to hold it steady on my custom roadblock i'm doing but uh but keep in mind it is kind of thin you kind of got to be careful with that one uh, also got uh for storm shadow i know the swords he comes with are good and these definitely could have used a better sanding and paint job they do have the very small arusha kagi symbol on, on the blade there next to the hilt uh, i just wanted to do something a little different for my personal one so i went ahead and added those to the store uh got the h and k or heckler and notch 416 machine gun um uh, or assault rifle whatever you want to call it uh once again not specific to any gi joe uh, i think john wick uses this in one of one of the john wick movies but anyway good 112 scale gun looks good with just about just about any of the joes major bloods old 357 magnum we've uh, had this one on the store for a while or dirty harry if you want to call it 44 it kind of would work for both platform very similar also uh this is the sig saucer uh handgun 40 cal uh, also uh, john wick carries this one works good for your cobra officers as a backup uh, i've also got a h and k got a few other few other handguns uh here's one the glock uh, generation four glock uh, very popular law enforcement gun here uh, i actually carry one of these at work uh anyway works good like i say good backup gun for any of your joes or cobra officers or uh just any of the classified figures and last one i'll show you here is flints we uh, have a shotgun in the store i advertise this flint shotgun it's more of a modern shotgun uh, this one is actually based on the original uh, weapon that flint came with so uh cool cool new little gun you want to spice your flint figure up uh like i say this is just a little bit of what we've got to offer guys we have in the store uh, get on etsy and check us out tgc customs thanks